One day a kid went to library and was searching for some books and he got one book and he started reading that book. He wondered in how many different ways can we arrange these words. So he went to home and he started to arrange this word in some different ways. Then he looked at its phone and he got a new notification that Scientific Molecules has done a new video. He took the phone and looked what is that new video. He saw that it is a video of in how many different ways can we arrange these words. So he was lucky on turning on this notification. It is because the Scientific Molecules will now help him do his work. So don't forget to turn on the notification bell since I may help you sometimes. So he started watching the new video and this is what he found. Please take a pencil or pen with a book so that you can write down the equations and some points. I am using some my own words to describe some things so please make sure to write down those things. If you don't understand any part please make sure to comment it down below. Alphabet group is the group which we can classify by seeing the first alphabet of a specific number of alphabets. For example, if we take three alphabets A, B, C, then we would arrange them like this. And in this case, A, B, C and A, C, B can be classified as A group. B, C, A and B, A, C can be classified as B group and C, B, A and C, A, B can be classified as C group. Next is combination. Combination can be defined as the different ways in which we have some alphabets. Now also we are taking three alphabets A, B, C and in this we have six combination. They are A, B, C, A, C, B, B, C, A, B, A, C, C, B, A and C, A, B. And in this ABC and ACP are first group combination, BC and BAC are second group combination, CBA and ACAB are the third group combination. And the third one is unique combination. As the name says, the unique combination is some combination with some unique things in them. If we take three alphabets ABC then ABC is one unique combination, ACB is another unique combination. BCA and BAC, CBA and CAB. These are some unique combinations. You may think what is the difference between these. So we are taking four alphabets so that there is more unique combination in them. If you take ABCD then ABCD and ABD is first unique combination. ACBD and ACDB are second combinations and ADBC and ADCB are the third unique combinations. And this is a group unique combinations. This is unique combination A and that is B group unique combination, that is C group unique combination and etc. and that is up to Z group unique combination. How you found the difference between combination and unique combination? If you haven't, there you go. In combination there is A B C D, A B D C, A C B D, A C D B, A D B C, A D C B and etc. is a combination in some alphabetic orders or alphabet group. But in unique combination it is very much different. In unique combination A B C D, A B D C, A C B D, A C D B, A D B C, A D C B are not one group of unique combination. A B C D and A D B C are not unique combinations but they can be called as a group of combination. In unique combination A B C D and A B D C can be called as a unique combination. Have you found the difference between unique combination and combination? If not, here we go. In A B C D and A B D C they can be called as unique combination and you can see that first two letters are A B and in combination a, B, C, D and A, D, B, C can be called as a combination and the first two letters are not same. So I hope you have understood the difference between unique combination and normal combination now. 
so now make your ears sharp because we are now starting to tell the equations and we are going to find how many combinations are there in a specific number of alphabets and in this video we are going to take five letters a b c d e since it has enough unique combinations and enough combinations and enough group for making you understand these equations and these concepts and we are not only really going to tell the equations but we are going to tell some facts about arranging these letters in some specific orders so here comes your first equation so first equation is to find number of unique combination in a unique combination group the equation is simple number of letters means one it is the equation first we are going to take group a and in a b c d e we know that there is five letters and we are going to do five minus one which is four group and i am going to prove that okay so the first group is a b group and the second group is a c group third group is a d group and fourth group is a e group so we should take some other number of letters so that we can prove that so we are going to take six letters a b c d e and f so it has six letters and it's six minus one which is five and we can see there is a b group a c group a d group a e group and a f group and next time one of the most common and one of the most simple equation is total group is total number of alphabets everyone knows this but for finalizing or completing the way in which we want to find number of combination we need this equation too so next equation is how to find a total number of combinations in a group this equation may be looking a very long question but it is a very simple equation the question is to find total combination one group the question is number of digits minus one in the number of unique combination in one unique combination group so it may be hard when it sounds but with examples everything is going to be easy first we are taking a b c d e and a b c d e has five letters so we should do five minus one next is we should take one unique combination group and we we can take any unique combination group like you can take a b group you can take a c group you can take d e group any combination you wish so i am taking a b group so first we should find how many unique combinations are there in this a b unique combination group so to find number of unique combination in one unique group we should go in a 3 to 2 ratio this is not a normal 3 to 2 ratio so for showing this we are taking a b c d e so we should know how many common factors a b c d has so we know that a b c d has two unique combination so we should do 2 multiplied by 3 so we can say that if we have to find how many unique combinations a four letter has then we should find how many unique combination a three letter has and if we have to find how many unique combination a ten letter has then we should find how many unique combination a nine letter has so since we have to multiply a three letter by two we have to multiply four letter by three and we have to multiply five letter by four and etc it goes like that so for an example we are taking a b c d e f we know that a b c d e f has six letters so we should find how many unique combination a five letter alphabet has so to find how many unique combination of a five letter has we should know how many unique combination a four letter has to know how many unique combination a four letter has we should know how many unique combination a three letter has so let's start doing the equations so we should remember that a three letter a b c d has only one unique combination so since a b c d has one unique combination we should now find number of unique combination a b c d has so number of unique combination a b c d has is equal to number of unique combination a b c has and we should multiply it by 2 and equation is like 
1 into 2 and that is the number of unique combination a b c d has so now we are going to find how many unique combination a b c d e has so we should find how many unique combination a b c d has and we know that we know that a b c d has two unique combinations since we found out that so number of unique combination a b c d e has is equal to 2 into 3 since uh, the time before we found a b c d has we multiply it by 2 and now we should multiply it by 3 next time we should multiply it by 4 so number of unique combination a b c d e has is equal to 6 so let's go for the final we are now going to find how many unique combination a b c d e f has to find that we should multiply how many unique combination a b c d e has into 4 and the answer is 24 and we now has found how many new combination a b c d e f has isn't that simple it is more simple than writing every letter and finding unique combination so it's the final time now we are going to find how many combinations does a certain number of alphabets have so we should combine all the questions that we have done and we should combine it with one more equation and we'll find how many combinations does a certain number of alphabets have so the equation is total number of alphabets minus one into total number of unique combination a unique combination group has into total number of digits so we are going to take a b c d e so total number of digits a b c d e has is five so five minus one into total number of unique combination a b c d has in a unique combination group your total number of digits which is 5 so to find number of unique combination in a unique combination group you should use the unique combination equation which i have used before and find number of unique combination it has so i have found a b c d e has 6 unique combination and we should multiply 5 minus 1 into 6 into 5 which is equal to 120 and number of combination which a b c d e has is equal to 120 wasn't that easy i hope it was easy and there is one more example and please try it yourself and put it down in the comment down below which you have tried here comes the second example we are going to take a b c d e f as the next example and as I was told, you should now find unique combination A, B, C, D has and we should multiply it by number of digits it uh, A, B, C, D, E, F has and we should multiply it by number of alphabets it has minus 1. So number of alphabets is 7, so 7 minus 1 into I have found how many unique numbers is there in one unique group in A, B, C, D, E, F. It is 24 into number of alphabets. 7 which is 1008 so just with six alphabets we can arrange them in 1008 different varieties of ways isn't that amazing and now i am going to tell some interesting facts about arranging these numbers so if we take a certain number of alphabets for example a b c d e and if we take the next certain number of alphabets a b c d e f and if we look the number of combination in a b c d e and a b c d e f amazingly they both will be equal isn't that amazing so we are taking a b c d e if you look at the number of combinations one group has for example a group b group c group etc then that will be equal to the one unique group in the next number which is a b c d e f you can try that so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed this video please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and by the way, thanks again for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.